Hey, what's up, everyone? Chat nicely here. We're getting ready to get started. I want to give it just a couple more minutes. I see people are still signing on over here on the webinar. Uh, it's a little bit complicated to figure that out. So let's give it just another minute. I'm going to fill up my coffee and we'll get rocking. Okay, cool. Can everybody see my screen? Can you guys just go ahead and type in the chat here? Let me know if you can see my screen. Real quick. And we are recording. Good. Let me find your guys' questions over here. There they are. Screen, audio, good, 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 good. Everybody's good. Okay. Awesome. All right. Let me find the Facebook chat. I got the Facebook chat. Yes, good. All right, let's do it, guys. Well, hi there. My name is Chad Nicely. I want to welcome you to the second session of the PLR Masterclass. The response to this class has been nothing short of astronomical. It's pretty awesome what we've been able to do. Now, in the last session, if you did not watch the recording, you definitely want to go back and watch it because this is what we revealed. We first showed you the overall process and how you can actually make money with PLR. I think I gave a new twist that nobody had actually thought about. We're using PLRs in ways that really traditionally has not been done. The other thing is I revealed all the tools and resources that we actually use in our own business to profit with PLR and tools that we recommended to you. And it was up to you if you wanted to pick those up or not. I showed you a process where we used, um, we took a 35 cent click and we use very, very basic PLR, and we actually turned that into high ticket. We're going to talk about that today. And we actually dived into rebranding the PLR. I feel like I really simplified that for you. And then we went and started creating our CTA library or our resources, which is definitely very, very important for you to make profits. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's see, I got... Uh, does everybody hear an echo or is, is the sound good? Somebody's telling me there's an echo. You guys hear an echo or does it sound good? Okay, everybody else is saying it sounds good, so I don't know, you might need to leave and come back. I don't know what to tell you. All right, so if I come over here to the comments, if we look at the comments here, okay, good, 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 good. Let me know if you actually went and created your PLR, your, um, what is it, CTA library, guys. If you created that, will you type in the chat here and let me know? Type in the chat here right on Facebook, let me know. Okay, I think it's a little bit of a delay. Yes or no, did you guys create your CTA library? I'm asking that question. We'll wait for this delay to end and I'll come back. And I will go ahead and show the answers to that question. Okay. Now, the replays are already available. I'm going to drop the link live on the chat for you guys. But uh, you would be more than happy to know that these replays were created in a matter of minutes. So I did the uh, last session and I started burning it and I went and had dinner. And I came back. And I basically clicked two buttons. I created a new course and I loaded the video. 
And then what I did was I went and put all these resources in here for you. Now, this is our Everlasting system. If you're not familiar, you definitely should get familiar with it. Now, how many people had a chance to jump into the replays? Did you guys get to jump in there? Yes? Good. You definitely want to do that. And what I want you to do, I want you to do two things when you get in there, okay? Yes, all the resources are here that you need. And a lot of those are affiliate links. So you are going to actually be helping me earn profits from this course. And I appreciate that. But more importantly, it's not about the profits for me. It's about me teaching you how to be profitable with this, okay? Next, below this video, you'll see that there is this box here. This is called a goal block. Now, I have the choice to either leave this goal block open or closed. I have it closed, but I want you to click on this little arrow here, and I want you to complete the goal. And basically, the goal is, tell me what your light bulb moment was from this session. Very, very easy. Once you do that, you'll receive points. You can see that we have gamification taking place here. And then finally, maybe it's gonna require you getting to the third session to see what this is all about. Please, please, please do me a favor and come up here and click on this link that says rate this product. I would really appreciate if you guys would please do those things inside the members area. And again, if you don't have a link to the Everlesson portal, we will be dropping that link right here on the call. Okay, now in this call, session number two, we're going to dive right into the membership. This is going to be more technical tonight than the last session. The last session was all about understanding the process, the profit potential, and how you can use PLR to build trust and build a rapport. This one, we're going to get down and dirty. So now that we know how to rebrand our PLR, we're going to actually use Everlesson to build our memberships. And we're going to be deploying monetization methods inside the membership. And we're going to be deploying very basic gamification campaigns to get the engagement you need. And you're going to learn how to set up your review system. And we're also going to learn how to structure your membership so that you're in a position to make high ticket commissions. How many people are excited to learn how to do all of this if you don't already know? Now, here's a good thing. At least I think this is a good thing. If you have been following me for any time, the last year, the last month, the last week, you will find that I sound like a broken record. I will teach you the same things over and over and over and over. I'm not going to change on you. I'm not going to go drop some new strategies. I'm not going to send you on your way to something else. We keep doing the same thing over and over. And it's based on trust. Okay? Now, speaking of trust, to build the trust and rapport, these are the basic elements that we need to have. Number one, we need to take that PLR that we looked at last night, and we need to add what's called the commercial appeal. This is commercial branding. I've called it the commercial appeal for a long time, okay? Next, we need to convert it to digital format. We're going to do that on this call. <laughs> Wish me luck on that. Next, we're going to deploy some simple gamification. Nothing real complicated. You saw me do it last night. It took me a whole two minutes. It's already working. Would you guys believe that people are already completing the goals? The goals are already being pulled into the comments, and it's working just like it's been working this whole time. Monetization. Since we are giving something away for free, is it okay to sell? I'm going to leave that up to you. My answer is absolutely. Then we need to have a next level. What do I mean by a next level? Well, a next level is where you're going to actually make the profits. This could be another course. Yes, it could be another upsell to your PLR. I know a lot of PLR is positioned that way. Um, it could be a coaching program. It could be an event. It doesn't really matter. It's a next level from where they're at. We're going to talk about that. A rating system. We want to have our rating system so that we're able to pull in our reviews and our testimonials into our sales pages. Next, we need to have an active community. How do we have an active community? Well, by doing the exact things that I'm showing you here on the screen. We pull our gamification into our comments. Our comments encourages more people to get involved, get them excited. 
then you're able to use all that as well as the leaderboards and you're able to use it inside your group. And we kind of talked about that in the first session as well. And I want you to have a personal touch. Even if you're not good at this, I want you to give it a shot. I think you'll be very, very, very surprised. Now, you're going to find I put a lot of work into tonight's call. And I'm being so very important not to restart my system, not to crash my browser, because I have been experimenting all day. Because I'm sad the way I do things. I'm very, very big in Photoshop. But I've been trying to find alternatives that I knew would work for you guys. And so I've got all this stuff open in all these browsers and everything else. Okay? Now, the commercial branding. Here's what we have. Okay? If we look at the Viking PLR package, which is a standard PLR package, they provided you with branding just like this. Now, I mentioned this on the call. My fear is that a lot of people are going to go out there and they are going to start selling this package. They're either going to start selling it or they're going to start giving it away. I don't want you to do this. Instead, I want you to take that. And guys, I only have about 35 seconds into this. I want you to convert it into something like this. How many people are excited to see what I just put on the screen? You guys like that? Now, I'm able to do that with Photoshop. That's my baby. But I'm also able to do it with Pixel Studio. And I'm also able to do it with Canva. And I'm going to show that tonight on the call. Even though I'm not an expert, that should be very, very encouraging to you. Because that means I just went out there, jumped out of the plane head first, and said, I'll just figure this out. I am struggled with it, but I got it, which means you guys are going to go through the same thing. You'll struggle a little bit, but you'll get it. All right, so there's our commercial branding. Our CTA resources. This is where we've gone, and we've used something like Easy Links. I highly recommend Easy Links. I've got it set up perfectly for this. But if you don't want to use my Easy Links program, then there's other programs you can use. Okay. So you have your CTA resources. Most of you went and did that last night. And then we have what we call a massive call to action, our main call to action. And I showed you how we do this last night with PowerPoint. I actually demonstrated it. I went and found an image, put in a call to action, and we put a button right there on the page. This is actually one of our calls to actions out of one of our guides that we built with PowerPoint. So. What does this look like? What does our finished PLR document look like? Well, I'm going to show you. All right. We're going to have our main PLR plus our call to action library. These are our resources plus our main call to action. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to merge all these together. Now, I'm going to show you a process tonight to very easily create the main PLR with the branding I just showed you. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna merge this PDF with this PDF with this PDF. Now, if you do your resources inside of PowerPoint, which I definitely recommend you do, then the last page inside your resources could be your main call to action, which means you would only have the main PLR content and one other PDF document. And you would have a beautiful branded document. Can you do this if you don't have easy links? Hillary's asking me. Sure, there's a lot of programs out there. You can put raw links in your PDFs, in your resources if you choose to. You just don't have any control if they take down the page or something. And that's why we recommend using something like Easy Links where you have control of the destination. Okay? So is everybody understanding this process here? Can you guys comment yes or no? Good. This makes sense to you, right? All right. Now, 
I found a free resource for you. You don't have to go and spend all that money with Adobe. There is something called PDF Merge. Has anybody ever heard of PDF Merge? This is pretty awesome because if we step back, you have PDF file, PDF file, PDF file. And what you need to do is you need to merge them together. So you have PDF file number one, PDF file number two, PDF file number three. You're gonna load those three individual PDFs. You're gonna click this merge button and it's going to make it one PDF. And you guys were able to do that without having to spend a dime on something like Adobe Writer. Pretty cool, right? And I see comments are coming in that I have used it, good. Yes, I found it to be pretty easy, okay? Now, let's talk about our finished video lessons. That was the documents, that was the free reports, that's the guide, all right? The finished video lessons, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have our main cover, and I'm gonna show you what the main cover looks like right now. So our main cover looks like this, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how we do this in all these tools. So I started out with this photo here. And from this photo, I was able to make a main cover. This is for the video. Now I can use this template over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And I'll show you that here in a minute. Matter of fact, I suggest you do that. And the reason why is so that all your courses have the same consistency. And it makes it very, very easy for you to create them. Whether you're using Photoshop, Usine, Canva, uh, Pixel Studio, whatever you're using, okay? So if I take this branding and this overall look, I also created this PDF cover. And would you guys believe me if I said, I created this in about two minutes. I didn't spend any time. Now I'm good at Photoshop, yes, but once you have the templates, you can do the same thing. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you these templates inside the course. And just in case you struggle with Pixel Studio or Canva or Photoshop, then you have the PSDs and you can go send them to somebody on Fiverr or you can send them to somebody on Upwork and they can very easily change them out and they can make it perfect for you. I don't want anything stopping you, okay? So let me come back over here to my PowerPoint. All right, so now we have our main cover combined with the main PLR video, and then we're gonna have our main cover at the end. And I kind of showed you how we do this in the last session. Is this making sense to you guys, yes or no? Type in the chat here. Let me know if all this is starting to make sense. Good. Okay. And I hope that I am really trying to simplify it. I, I hope that you're not finding this complicated at all. Now, what I use, and I know there are several solutions out there, I use Camtasia Studio. If you were to go through a uh, course I have called Course Immersion, and if you watch what we do with Camtasia Studio, you would understand why there's no other reason for you to have anything but Camtasia Studio. It's gonna save you so much heartache. It sets you up for the future. So many things that you can do with it, and I will never ever use anything else. That's a promise, okay? Now, once we have our document, and once we have our videos all branded, then we're gonna load them inside of our membership platform. And it's gonna look just like this. Now, how many people are curious to see, and this is just a mock-up, this isn't real. How many people are curious to see what that video right there may say? And notice, this is going above and beyond right now. I'm gonna show you an easier way to do this, but, if you guys start learning this process, and if you start enjoying it like I do, and you really become successful with this, and you wanna take this to the next level, then what I've done here is I've pulled the imaging, the branding, 
that we use for this whole entire course, I used that as a background and I did a green screen video. And I'm going to show you, if you guys get excited, I'm going to show you what's included in that video. And then you can see down below here, we have the other lessons. Hold on just a minute, guys. All right, that's funny. I'll have to cut that out of the recording. I had, a, I had the FedEx show up with a package. But okay, so this here is taking it to the next level. You don't have to do it, all right? But we do want to have a video that adds that personal touch that I was talking about, okay? So I'm gonna show you that here in a minute. Now, you guys, if you purchase a PLR package, you receive 20 different PLRs, all right? 20 different products. Now, how many people are impressed with the fact that we took a PLR product and we made it look like this? Yes or no, are you guys impressed? Type in the chat here and let me know. This looks good, doesn't it? Doesn't this look good, guys? I think this looks great. I absolutely think it looks great, and I could be very, very successful with this. And I have been successful with this, doing just like you see here on the screen. The only difference is I had to put a lot of work into it back in the day because I didn't have the systems that we have today. So what's going to happen is you're going to do this over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And you can outsource as much as you want. And then... You're gonna have all this amazing content. Picture each one of these being an individual PLR product. Now, how many people are starting to see the light with what we're doing here? Because here's the thing. You may have a page that puts people in this product or puts them in this product or puts them in this product or this one or this one or this one, it doesn't really matter. Now you have some options here. With the Everlesson system, you can set it up to where as soon as they land on this dashboard, they can see all of these courses. And that's what I do with you. But the reason why it works is because we've built this together. You guys have been there from the start. However, you're gonna have people coming in, they don't know you, Right, they just opted in on your page and you probably don't wanna have 21, 22 courses waiting there for them. Instead, you wanna have like two or three with strong calls to actions. And we're gonna talk about that. Now, here's where I really want some light bulb moments. I think this is where it's gonna happen for you. Inside the Everlesson system, we have something called a free product sequence and we have something called a paid product sequence. And how that works is even though they came in on this one and you want them to see these other two, so you would set these other two up for public access, all these other ones are inside the membership, but if they don't have access to it, they don't see it. And if you don't have public access on, they don't see it. However, with the free product sequence, guys, here's what you're able to do. You are able to set up an email that goes out automatically every day, every three days, every three weeks. And here's how that email's positioned. It says, hey, it's Chad here. And I just created this course, or I just had this course created for you, or I just obtained this course. It's up to you how you choose to write it. And it's going to help you with goal setting. Now, I'm going to sell this course in the future for 97 bucks, But right now, I want you to check it out for free. And if you would do me a favor, make sure you complete the goals. And give me a five-star rating, and I'd appreciate it. Oh, and by the way, 
It's already been added to your account. If you lost your access details, I've included them down below. Now guys, this is the reason why people are so successful with email marketing. The ones that are successful understand give, 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 sell. Give, 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 sell. And now, you're in a position where you have enough content that you are able to give, 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 and sell. And not only that, this is where I want you to fall out of your chair. Everlesson is going to do all of that for you. And we're going to spin session number three, setting up this free product sequence and this paid product sequence so that you guys have these emails going out for you automatically. Now, can somebody type in the chat here and let me know if you guys understand how powerful this is that I'm showing you. Are you guys starting to understand this? Let me come over here. Let me bring the chat over here on the screen real quick. And let's see what we got. Type in the chat here. Let me know if everybody's starting to understand this. Now, I've been talking about the free product sequence and the paid product sequence for a very long time, but nobody really understood it because they go, well, where am I going to get the content from? I don't see how that's going to work. Like, Chad, you're a machine and you're always creating content, but I'm not able to do that. Well, we're going to kind of half-ass it, but you're going to have content, but we're going to brand it to you. All right? The reason why I'm doing this course, guys, is because of the system that we've created. Okay? Good. Comments are coming in. Everybody's happy. All right. Good. And I cannot wait to close my browser. <laughs> I got so much stuff loaded here for you guys. Okay? All right. Somebody says, Chad, you are over-delivering value. I'm just being myself, and that's what I want you guys to do. Now, once you have all this in place, remember what I told you. We not only have the monetization, we not only have the gamification, we not only have the comments coming in, we not only have that personal touch, but guys, I want you to get paid. And this is the reason why I created a whole other system. It's like the second half of ever lesson. And what this does is this allows you to create surveys, applications, appointments, pipelines, and something we call 10x widgets. And you're able to deploy all of this inside of your courses. Now, why does this work? It works because we have the formula. Is everybody starting to get this? The formula is so very important. You can't be non-existent, set all this up, not provide value, not communicate, not be excited. You can't do all that stuff and expect this to work. You got to follow the formula that I'm showing you right now. You got to do exactly what I'm doing right now. And guys, I stumble over my words. I have things misspelled on the screen all the time. Like, I show the wrong thing sometimes. I got broken links, I this, I that. I'm not perfect. Man, I'm not perfect, but there's no doubt in my mind, you guys know I have your best interests at heart. And every single one of you have the ability to do that, don't you? So let's go into a live demo, guys. Let's come on over here and let's look at this firsthand, all right? Let's see what we got. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to open up this other browser, okay? And let's see if I can make this happen. It's this guy right here. Okay. I'm very, very careful not to crash anything here. And I can't refresh it. I'm scared that it's going to, like, log me out or something crazy, all right? So here's the replay from last night. Let me first show you that, okay? And we'll go through this. But you can see I went and I loaded all of the resources. Right here, 
I took the most important resource and I put it below the video, which is the library. Okay, and that way you guys can see it. If I open this up, this is my goal block. And we already have people completing this goal. They're already earning these points. Because I'm using Amazon S3, uh, I didn't have to do anything except load the same image that I had into Everlesson. And then a lot of people don't realize this, but Everlesson puts the title of the video there for you. I didn't have to do that, guys. All, everything inside of Everlesson happens automatically. We don't want you messing with that stuff. We want to do 95% of the heavy lifting for you so that you don't struggle with this stuff. Okay? So you see, very, very basic, very, very clean. It works. And I got the ability for you guys to come over here and rate this product. And we got the news feed over here. Just getting ready. To, look at, look, guys, is this not, this isn't bad for just taking a, a webinar replay and putting it inside of a course. Is it, guys? Is this, is this bad? Like, this is pretty awesome, isn't it? And, and imagine when you have the time to make this a full-time business. This isn't a full-time business for me. I develop platforms. I don't do marketing. <laughs> I'm only doing this stuff to help you guys succeed and show you how to use the system. But imagine if my only job was to actually go out there and be a marketer and not have to work with developers all day long. Imagine what I could do then. I've probably put, honest to God, and this might offend a lot of people, I've probably only put 15 to 20% effort into this. That's it. But when I get on a call with you, you have my undivided attention, and I am here giving you 110%. In the hour, hour and a half that I have you, that is my promise to you. There's no distractions. The developers, my partners, they all know, leave me alone. I got to take care of my members. Okay? So there's the first thing. There's the replay from last night. And if I were to come over here and click complete my goals, you can see that I've already got a goal. Here's a light bulb moments. Already been issued to four members. And if I come over here, click earn these points, these members already had their picture loaded inside the system. We got Ian in there. Ian, put your picture in there, right? So you can see that this is starting to work. And we only loaded this last night about what, like 11 o'clock, midnight? So that's perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to deposit photo. All right. This is one of my favorite sites. Let me see if I can see why it's doing that. Okay. And so the example I used was video. Okay, the PLR package we had, if I open this up here, let me find it again. It's VP, right? Is that what it is? VP? Okay, VP. Uh, oh, let me go to downloads. VP. Pray I don't have any crashes. So if we open this up again, what do we got? Yeah, this was the one that, that we used. So if I bring this over here to the screen, you can see it. So we had Viking video marketing. I'm like, okay, that's the one I'm going to do. So I came over to deposit photo and I did a search for video marketing and I went through and I said, okay, I want to, I want to find something that has like a nice SAS look to it. And so this one right here would have worked except that camera looks a little commercial. This right here works for me because when I looked at this, I said, well, that looks like a home camera and he looks like a normal guy and he's got like a, an apartment set up here. It's not like a, a big elaborate green screen studio. It's not like a big commercial thing. I'm like, this is a good fit. This is what I'm looking for. So if you guys watch AppSumo, AppSumo puts out amazing deals where you can purchase like a thousand credits. That's like a thousand photos for like, I don't know, it's like 40 or 50 bucks. It's pretty cheap. Uh, so I would watch AppSumo for those deals. And I love deposit photo. Now, I also have a uh, plan with them where I think I get like 30 free photos a month. So spend the money, guys. Do not go to Google and steal images. Even if you're thinking, you know what, I'm just going to use these images for these webinars. Nobody will see it, you know, because it's a paid webinar or they have to opt in. Like, chances are nobody's going to see it. That's when you get in trouble. And I've got a number of colleagues that have gotten in trouble doing exactly that. Just come over here and get a plan or pick up those packages, okay? 
Now, in addition to deposit photo, I also went over to my favorite site, which is called Unsplash. And you guys will see these resources once the video's loaded. And I did a search for video. I said, okay, maybe I can find something in here. And I almost went with this one right here. Matter of fact, I think I started with this one. So I'm gonna show you Photoshop first. I had this image here. And what I did was I pulled that image into a size that's 1280 by 720. You don't have to know that. It's something that'll stick with me the rest of my life, okay? And so if I pull this over here, guys, and this is, guys, this is every single one of you have the ability to learn Photoshop. You do, because look, there, there's nothing to it. I got an image, and then I came over here and I clicked on this little text tool right here, and I typed text, just like that, okay? So here's my text. And then what I did was I drew a shape, which is very, very easy. If I bring my tool back over, wherever it went, if I can find that tool again, Windows, Tools. Okay, so I drew a shape. See this right here? I just drew a shape. I colored it red. I don't know why. So now the shape is behind the text. And then I put intro to video marketing down below, which means it's session number one. So now if I want to do this again, I'm going to do getting traffic to your video or something like that, right? I don't, I don't know what, you know, session number two is, but it's going to be something along those lines, okay? And I can click the move tool here. Just basic stuff, guys. Nothing complicated at all. And I've actually taught Photoshop. I've got a course inside of Everlesson called the Photoshop Marketing University. I teach you how to do exactly these things. Now, why is this valuable? Well, look, if I just come over here to downloads, I'm gonna show you, you know, how much I use this stuff. And if I look for, say, this right here, and I bring this over, I'm gonna say open. So it's gonna open up a new image right off of Unsplash. And I'm just gonna drag it over here. That's a massive image, by the way. So I'm going to say edit, transform, scale. We're going to scale this down. And my students learn how to do all this stuff, right? So there's a lot you can do with an image this size. I can also come over here to the percentages and do it, but I just kind of want to show you the different looks you can get, right? So I can do that. Click the check mark, and then I can click on this little thing here. I can come over here to this photo bucket. And I can just go ahead and choose a different color. Maybe we'll do like orange or something, right? And then I'll come over here and I'll go ahead and, and uh, do uh, SEO gold mine or something, right? Do you see how fast I'm able to change that? And this is how I'm able to do the screens like you saw at the beginning of the call. So let's we'll see if we can do it again downloads and this is by this is not a course on photoshop guys not even close okay um let's see what i could find it's just a course to get you interested in maybe wanting to learn photoshop let me look on my desktop real quick and see if there's anything there i got stuff everywhere so let's see what i can find let's see if i got anything here any of my regular images that you guys would recognize? Probably not, but you can see how much I am inside of Photoshop, right? I'm in there quite a bit. So I was looking to see if I had one of my, like if I brought this one over, this is our photographer, so I could bring him in very, very easily. Right, so here he is. And watch, I'm just going to do like some quick and dirty stuff just to kind of, see if you guys would be interested in learning this stuff, right? So if I pull that down there. Let me just make it like this big. There we go. And I'll just do something quick and dirty. And I'll just say delete. And that was definitely quick and dirty. But let me see if I can do this. I'll change the tolerance to zero. And we'll change it to like 80. It went the other way. 
So there, there, delete. And there you go. You see, that's really all you need to know to be successful with Photoshop. That's it. You, you don't need to know any of the other crazy stuff, guys. You, you just, you don't. You don't need to know how to, you know, color his eyes, make him lose weight, not for marketing. This is all you need to know. So when I tell you guys, would you believe me that I put together this slide in like two minutes? Well, you just saw me do it, right? And so I highly recommend that you guys learn how to use Photoshop. In the meantime, we have alternative resources, but I'm just kind of showing you the power with it, okay? So let me just see if I can step back. I don't want to turn off layers and stuff. Let me go back to where we were. Step back, step back, just so you can kind of see the actions. Or let me just find my layer window. Come over here to Windows, Layers. Okay, there it is. All right. So we'll turn you off, Jose, and we'll make you go back to red. Okay. Just like this. This guy right here. And then we'll turn our... There we go. Okay. And then this was video marketing. All right. You could learn it if you wanted to. It's not that hard. So this is what we have for the video cover. And so I have one for the video. And if I say image canvas size, you can see, if I look at the pixels, it's 1280 by 720. That's high definition. If you don't understand what that means, don't worry about it. But now if I come over here, this is paper size. This is eight and a half by 11. Notice, same image, same image, same color, same title. And I went and I found this image and I just added this real quick. That's just a little layer. So once again, there's that layer, there's that layer, there's that layer, and we have one image. Now, remember I said I started with this image, and then it was just too, it was too much. But I could do the same exact thing. And are you guys starting to see how fast you can do this branding? Is, is there anybody that is like, you know what? I think I have reason to learn how to do all this. Is there anybody feeling that way right now? Because it's not complicated. My daughter, who's 12 years old, learned to do this. She, she created a course teaching you how to do this. If a 12-year-old learned it, guys, you can learn it. Okay? We can turn down the opacity if we want. We can make this bigger. This, this image came right off of Unsplash I showed you a minute ago. All right, so we can go ahead and do our branding, whatever. It doesn't matter. I told you I'm a real trench digger. Stuff is not hard. And that's it. That, that's basically all you need to learn. If you learn the scale tool, if you learn the text tool, learn how to drop in shapes, and learn how to put in images, you're good to go. You're good to go. Okay? So uh, let's see. There it is right there. Perfect. And then let's turn it back over here to red. All right. And let's see if I click on the right layer. There we go. All right, perfect. Perfect. All right, so that's Photoshop. We start from here. We have our video one. And we have our one for our document. Okay? Now, let me come over here to my browser. And let's start with um, Pixel Studio. So I came over here, and I have another file open somewhere. But this is what I want to show you. If I come over here, I can do the same exact thing. I can bring this over here to the side. I can double click on this. I can say video, marketing. I can change the font, click apply. Um, don't make me update, please. I think it's going to want me to update. I was scared of that. Um, but just pretend like I just changed that text. I've had this open all day, guys. I, I figured it would do that. Then I could change this color. 
And then I could come over here and I could go ahead and bring in my background. I don't know if it's going to let me right now. It's kind of pissed off at me, which it should be. Um, but I could go ahead and bring in the same background. Now, my question was, would this be the same as what we have here? And I'm going to show you that it actually is. So you can make your PDF cover. And at the same time, you can also make the box shots. So let me come over here. I know I'm going to lose it. See, I knew that was going to happen. So we can make the PDF cover and we can make the box shots with Pixel Studio FX very, very easily. So if I come over here again and if I click on, let's, let's try this again. So I'm going to say zoom out. There we go. I'm going to say video marketing. I mean, for me, Photoshop's easier, guys, but this is really easy. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. There we go. And then we'll say, uh, I'm going to delete that one. So I'm going to click this trash bucket here. Okay. And then is that the trash? I can't tell if that's the trash or not. Okay. Apply. And then, okay, that's gone. And then what I can do is I can clone this one and I can come down here and I can say gold mine. And I can say apply. Okay. So now I got that, but I need to make all this stuff smaller to match it. Whoops. I went the wrong way. So we'll do like this, and then we can make this one smaller. Okay. And then we can go ahead and bring this in. All right, so I'm starting to get similar. And then I come over here to my backgrounds. And I did this earlier and it worked just fine. So I can go ahead and choose this background. And I can bring it in. And then I can click on this. I started with a template and I can delete this and I can delete this and I can go ahead and change this color or something else I can do is they have this really weird thing here called colorizer and you just like click on these objects and it just colors it for you. So I, I don't know. All right. But if I come over here and if I click this preview button, you're going to see that not only can we go and create the covers, with this software, but we can also create the box shots, doing it the same exact way. All right, so there's two alternatives for you. Okay, you got Pixel Studio, you have Photoshop. All right, good, I'm glad that one crashed. Now next, I went into a program that I know nothing about. I used it a little bit, and it's called Canva. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna get kind of dirty with Canva here, and I hope I don't offend any of you, but I wanna make sure you guys are profitable. Now with Canva, I was able to do the same exact thing. So uh, let me just see if I can, I came over here and I said, use custom dimensions. And I said, I wanna do eight and a half by 11. And I said, design. Okay, so here's my eight and a half by 11. And I didn't use any of this stuff, but I said, okay. I want to use a background. And this is a free account that I have right now, guys. So I said, okay, I want to use my background. And I think I went to uploads to do that. So I double clicked it. There's my background. I made it bigger. I pulled it in. And then I said, okay, I'm going to do probably elements. So I came over here. I said, okay, I'm going to do shapes. And then I noticed that they play this game with you where you can do like white and gray for free or whatever. So I was like, well, I'm still not going to upgrade my account. I'm going to find a way to do this. And so I kept scrolling down. And then I see that they do have some options for colors. My suggestion to you is just get started. Don't worry about the upgrades. And so I brought that in and I went ahead and shrinked it over here. And then I came over here to text and I did this one right here. And I said, video marketing. And then uh, I came over here and I changed the font to uh, Open Sans. So it kind of matched Photoshop. Okay. And then I can go ahead and pull that down if I want somehow. There we go. And then I went up here and I changed the color to white. Okay. And then I could just go ahead and drop in another one. And I'll say Gold Mine. 
And I came over here and I made this white. Okay. And I'll change the font again to open sans. So it's nice and clean. I don't like to get crazy with the fonts. And I'll make it bold. How many people are surprised with what you just saw? With both Pixel Studio or Canva, it doesn't really matter. So I'm like, okay, boom, I did it. That's good enough. It doesn't match the exact red, but hey, good enough for the girls I go with, right? So I came up here and I said, all right, now I'm going to download this sucker and I'm going to be the hero. So I clicked on download and I said, okay, do you want PNG standard? What do you want? And I said, all right, so I'll do PDF standard. And I click download. And then what it does, it goes and it plays this game with me, right? So watch this game it plays. What they want you to do is they want you to go and start referring people and they want you to upgrade and everything else. So I'm like, you know what? My members might not have the money to go upgrade, whatever else. This might not necessarily work with them. So I said, all right, I'll teach them something that they probably shouldn't learn. So I came over here to Zoom and I started Zooming out <laughs> just like this. And then I came over here and I grabbed this really cool tool called Jing. And I went and saved it just like this, guys. And I'm going to say cover two, just in case I didn't do something right. And I'm going to save it in here. And now we're good to go. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. That's up to you if you want to do that. All right. I'm just, I, I, I just not going to, um, I'm not going to pay their fees and everything until I know I like the program. And uh, somebody's saying it downloaded it. Um, I think it does it so many times, and then eventually it locked me out. So if it doesn't give you this copy, guys, do exactly like I just showed you, right? It, it'll play a game after a while, and it'll start asking you to upgrade. But it doesn't really matter, right? So with Canva, you can come over here, and we can start again, and we can do, let me get back to my get back to my dimensions. We can do the same thing, right? So we can come over here. Let's go back over here to the home. I have a hard time navigating. And this time we can say pixels and we can say 1280 by 720. Okay, and we can say design. And if they don't let me save it, well, fine, whatever. I got, I got my workarounds, right? So I'll come over here and I'll bring this in and I'll go ahead and blow this up. Guys, how many people are feeling good about your branding right now? Are, are you starting to feel pretty good? Is everybody starting to feel pretty good? Whether you have Pixel Studio, this is why I like Pixel Studio a lot. I like Pixel Studio because of all the graphics that it can do for you. Now, it won't do this one. It won't do the video one. But it will do, and, and I'm going to meet with the owner. I'm going to tell him, look, I need you to do something that's going to be 1280 by 720. And he will do it for me because he knows I can bring the heat. So we will have 1280 by 720 inside of here. But the other thing I like about this is I can take those images and I can very easily create all of this right here instantly. This is why I like Pixel Studio. Okay, Pixel Studio, Canva, Photoshop, doesn't really matter. It's up to you to choose your poison, figure out the strategy, get good with it, create some templates, and learn enough to be dangerous. Learn enough with your templates, and that's it. And you don't have to go beyond that. Okay? Is that pretty cool? Because I want to move on. Is everybody, like, good up to this point? Good. And are you guys getting a lot of value on the call? Let me bring the chat over here and let me see. Are you guys getting a lot of value on this call? Type in the chat here. Let me know. Let me know if you're getting a lot of value on this call. Because I, I feel like we did pretty good with the uh, branding part. I feel like you guys have a really good idea and you know exactly what it is you need to brand. Okay? And it's important. Now, let me go ahead and go into Everlesson because this is going to be our next step, okay? So if I come into Everlesson, and I don't want to do that one, let me come into one that I did a really good job, and that's going to be this one right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and play this, 
Actually, let me do something else. Let me do one that you guys have never seen before. I'm going to show you course immersion, and only a few people have actually seen course immersion. Okay? So let me see if I can remember this password. All right. So pretend like this here is your PLR product. All right? It's going to look just like this. You got comments coming in. You got monetization happening. You got to rate this system over here. We're going to talk about our 10x widgets over here in a minute, okay? And then if I go into it, let me, let me play this introduction for you real quick. I'm not going to play the whole thing. I just want to ask you, is this, good, is this a good impression? Hi there. My name is Chad. I just welcome to the Kimberly area. Now, as you can see from this course, each week you're going to have a nice welcome video from this. Now, can you guys hear that? Type in the chat. Let me know if you can hear that or not, because I'm not sure if the audio comes through for you guys. A little bit. Okay. Well, just kind of bear with me here because I don't know how Zoom works. Let me just make sure that it's not a setting real quick. Audio options. Is there anything that I can change real quick? I hadn't thought of that. Let me just see real quick. Audio options. No, I don't think there is. Hold on. Because I really want you to hear this. So let me check one more thing. I know with GoToWebinar we could have done it. But let me just see. There's something else I can do real quick. Audio options. Test computer mic. Okay, let me let me just see real quick. Audio volume. Okay, tell me if this is better. Can you guys still hear me? I'll cut this out of the recording, but it's okay. You guys can still hear me, right? So tell me if you can hear this. This is the only time that I'm going to be dressed like this because as soon as this video is done, I'm going to go change. Okay, good. So let me start it over. Hi there. My name is Chad Nice, and welcome to the members area. Now, as you proceed through this course, each week you're going to have a nice welcome video for me. This is the only time that I'm going to be dressed like this because as soon as this video is done, I'm going to go change. And we're going to hit the ground running because we got to start building your course. Now, a couple things before you get started. Okay. First of all, if you need support, you can go ahead and click the tab or the link to support. And we are there to help you. We've also got an amazing Facebook group and they usually have the answers. And I'm very, very involved in there as well. Okay. Next, as you go through this course, you're going to find downloads. You're going to find resources in the resource box to the right. You'll find the same resources directly below this video. So anything that I mentioned in the training, you will find directly below the video. Now, at the end of all the lessons, guys, I've got a goal for you. Now, it's very important that you do this goal. Now, some goals, I actually go and I check, and my team checks to make sure that you've done things accurately. Other goals, you're kind of on your own, and it's up to you to complete, and it's up to you to fill in the fills down below. This is called gamification. Now, these goals are not only going to help you complete this course, guys, and get you to where you're profitable, but on top of that, you're going to start understanding gamification, okay? And we want to have gamification in your course. So it's very, very important that you complete each and every goal, okay? Get connected with the group. I'll let you in here in just a minute. You'll find it in lesson number one. And get engaged. Introduce yourself. Guys, you can make the best of it, right? I'm going to give you 110%. That's what I expect from you. Fair? So if you're ready, let's dive right in. You'll find week number one directly below. All right. Now let me ask you guys. Yes, that's a green screen there. Is that a good impression, yes or no? Is that a good impression? If this is your own course and that's how you start out, that's an amazing impression, isn't it? So I got to thinking, I'm like, you know what? How do we do something like this with our PLR? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to open up Camtasia. And now I want you to watch this one. Hi there. My name is Chad Nice. I want to welcome you to Video Marketing Goldmine. Now, I know you're anxious to get started. But before you do, I've got a special bonus for you. You see, I went and put together a list of the tools and the resources that we actually use in our own business to absolutely crush it with video. 
And I'll tell you how to get that here in just a minute. But guess what? I got another bonus for you. And we're actually going to take the time to get on a call with you and figure out what we need to do to help you be successful with video as well at no extra charge. How's that for a bonus? So look, I know you're pumped. I know you're excited. You'll find the lessons directly below this video. Now, when you click each one of those lessons, you're going to find all the tools and resources you need for that specific lesson. You'll see this little area over on the side called a resource area. And you can go ahead and leave notes. You can see some of the comments that are coming in and you'll find all the links and resources that you need. Also directly below the video on each lesson, there's going to be a simple little goal. And it's important that you complete those goals, right? It's going to help you be successful with the strategy. But also, I'm going to reward you when you complete those goals. And finally, if you look at the top of your screen, you'll see a link that says rate this course. If you would please give me a five-star rating, I would really appreciate it. Okay, so now I'm sure you're excited. And all you need to do is click the links down below and you'll get started with the course. Okay, so if you're ready, let's do it. All right. Now, how many people are starting to have some light bulb moments on what we can do with this PLR? Are you guys starting to see that? I'm gonna tell you the things that I touched on in that video. Number one, I convinced them that they're excited about what they're getting into. Even if they weren't excited, they're excited now. How do we do that? We're passionate, we're excited. Remember, if you're not excited, don't expect them to be. That's the first thing. Number two, did you see how I position and frame this where I said, I've got an amazing bonus that I put together for you. And I put together all the tools and resources that we personally use, and I'm going to give them to you. Now notice, I didn't tell them how they were going to get it. I left them hanging. I said, I'll tell you how you're going to receive that here shortly. The next thing is, I said, oh, and I got something really special for you. And what I said in the video is we're going to take the time to get with you on the phone. We've got a personal strategy call where we're going to help you with your whole entire video marketing strategy. All right. So I got them excited. I told them about the two bonuses. Bob, you're being such a hard ass tonight, man. <laughs> I can't. It's going to crash. He says, I can't. Hold on a minute. All right. Is that better? All right. All right. So hold on a minute. Bob interrupted me. I lost my train of thought. Hate it when he does that. Where was I at? All right. So I get him excited. I talk about the two bonuses, right? And then from there, guys, it's teaching him how to use Everlesson. So instead of hearing this whole entire thing as one video and saying, I can't do it, think of it in in sections. So number one, they're excited. Number two, two bonuses. Number three, here's how every lesson works. You're going to click a video down below. You're going to click the lessons down below. I've got resources for you. I've got a goal beneath the video. Please rate the course. You ready to get started? Let's do it. That's it. Let me find your comments over here and see what you guys think so far. Are you guys seeing how we are now adding that personal touch? We have a very, very nice introduction to our content. And do you think that this was a better route to go as opposed to just giving somebody access to our content? Guys, what do you think? Now look, here's what we're gonna do. There's still a delay over here, but here's what we're gonna do, all right? Remember that image that I said we had? I showed you how to do this last night. I dropped in this image. I just said, file, import, media, and I brought in that image. Here it is right here, and I covered it over the Viking PLR brand. I just put it right over the top, right? And then it goes right into Steve's content, okay? 
And then I got the same exact image down here at the end. Now, I can also have a call to action with the arrow like we did last night that says, uh, you know, download your resources or whatever. But this is good enough. We got the branding. We know they're going to skim through this. And they're going to get to the end. But we already told them what to expect. Now, there's one thing you can do to take this further. And instead of having this image right here, you could have an intro clip that says, hey, so we're getting ready to kick off lesson number one. And in this lesson, you're going to learn how to get started with video so that you can blah, 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 right? So you can be more profitable in your business. So you can advertise your business all day long so that you can be, uh, make your clients successful. Whatever it is you want to do, you can explain that to them. And then you can have another reminder that says, oh, don't forget, I've got those resources here on this page. And when you're ready to make that appointment, click those little widgets. You guys understand this? Pretty awesome, right? So all I did with Camtasia was I said, share local file. I did 1080p next, and I burned it. And then now that that's burned, I'm going to get rid of my intro. And I'm going to bring this over here. And I'm going to go ahead and burn this one. I'm going to say share local file. I didn't burn this one yet, right? And I'm going to come over here. I'm going to put it in my folder. And I'm just going to say lesson one. Okay. So I got my welcome video. Oh, maybe I did do it. Hold on. Let's see. Well, hi there. My name is Chad. Nice. No. Nope. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do lesson number one. Lesson one. We're going to say save, finish. And there we go. Now we're burning this sucker. Okay. So it's time to dive in the wonderful world of ever lesson. All right. So I'm going to do this very, very quickly because I know you guys already know how to do this. Somebody give me a name for a membership. Let's just do, um, let's call it Eric's membership, okay? We got Eric Chong on the call. He's the one that just commented. So let's come over here, and we're going to say Eric's, Eric's membership, okay? It doesn't matter what you call it. I have Chad's membership, all right? So we'll just say Eric S., okay? And we'll do the same thing for the title. We'll bring that down, and we'll say, you are going to find courses, to help you with blah, 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 blah. All right, then we'll come over here. We'll obviously go and add an image and we can pull in from Unsplash if we want to. That's my favorite new thing, right? So it's, it's loading all these images here, but I'm gonna say Unsplash and what can we search for? I don't know, let's just search for uh, city and we'll click search. So this is the same Unsplash that we used a minute ago. So I can go ahead and pull in this. I'll pull in like this guy right here. I'll say insert, and there we go. Now we have a membership. I'm going to click proceed, okay? So our membership's been created, and now you guys know how this works. Come over here. You know I'm going to choose theme number seven. So I'm going to say, boom, I got theme number seven. Now, I don't even care about any of this right now. It just doesn't matter to me, and you guys know how to change all this. So I'm not going to focus on this, right? So, But I am going to get rid of that stupid purple. <laughs> I don't think he's a purple guy. Let's go with something like, um, what can we do here? One of these ones. Let's go with that. All right, there we go. Okay, so obviously he would have his membership and everything else. All right, let's start building. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click on this little hat. Now we're inside here. Here's our first course. So what do we have? We have video marketing goldmine, right? All right. So. In this course, you're going to learn the secrets of succeeding with video. All right. Obviously, I would do a better job than that. I come over here and I would add him as an instructor, or I would add Steve Alvey as the instructor, or I would say Eric and Steve. Doesn't really matter. You go, you load their picture. You guys know how to do this. Okay. Now we can go ahead and upload an image for that specific course. So guess what, guys? I'm going to go ahead and use the one that I got. If it's not too big, I, it could be too big. Let me see. 
So it's going to be view. Let's see. Can I view my? I don't know why my thumbnails aren't appearing here, but I want to go ahead and grab one that doesn't have stuff on it. So let me see if I can get this one because I don't need my titles and everything. So let's call this membership image. It's the right size, but it could be too big. So let's see. Membership image. I'm going to save it in there. Okay. And let's see what we got. Upload image. I'm going to do membership image. There it is. Okay, there it is. I'm going to say insert. Now, we just created video marketing goldmine. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to say category video marketing. And if my tag was like video ranking or something, I could do that too. Like you can get laser focus with your monetization later on if you want with this. Um, but that's good enough for now. And I'm going to leave this off. And the reason why I'm going to leave this off is because we're going to do a product sequence. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. And now we just created our first course called Video Marketing Goldmine. All right. So if I come over here, let me see how my video is done. All right. My video is done. And what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to come over here, and this is called Amazon S3. I highly recommend that you guys learn about Amazon S3 because they're going to give you free hosting. So I'm going to come back over here to this one called VIP Members. This is where I put your PLR Masterclass last night. I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call this Video Marketing Goldmine, or in my case, BMG. I'm going to say Create New Folder. All right, now we have a folder called BMG. I'm going to double click it and I'm going to go ahead and say upload. And I'm going to grab my two videos that I've already done. One is the intro video, which is this one right here. And then one is the lesson video. So I got intro and I got lesson. I'm going to say open. And now you see that it is loading those two videos inside. Amazon S3. And so we're on task one of seven. So you can kind of see what's happening here, right? And so you can watch the task go down. And, and this is where all of our videos are hosted. Uh, Courtney's saying S3 is not free. My last bill was 32 cents. That probably means you have a lot of people that have gone through your initial gigabytes. Hillary saying, make an Amazon S3 course. Absolutely not. I know very little, bit, uh, very little bit about Amazon S3, but you can get on YouTube, Court, uh, Hillary. You can get on um, Udemy. There's tons of courses on Amazon S3. I'm not a technical person. Believe it or not, that should be re-encouraging for you guys, right? That, that should be re-encouraging. That should be encouraging for you guys. Okay. So Amazon S3 is owned by Amazon. This tool here is called S3 Browser. It's for Windows. I don't know what we have for Mac, but this is what it is for Windows, okay? So you see I'm on part six of seven. Now we're on seven of seven. Uh, Everlesson also has an internal loading system in the Amazon S3 from inside the members area. I don't ever use it. Just because I'm so used to using this, I just won't use it, okay? So there we go. It's loaded both of them right here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and I'm going to right click. I'm going to say edit permissions. I'm going to say read, read, read. And I don't care if that's right or wrong. I've done it that way for years. I've made a lot of money. I'm going to leave it that way. And for welcome, I'm going to say read, read, read. I'm going to say apply changes. Okay. Now, if we come over here, remember the intro video that we had for course immersion? Let me see if I can get back to that slide really quick. Hold on just a minute. Where is it at? Uh, this slide right here. Okay. Slideshow from current slide. Okay. So this video right here was one I just showed you in Camtasia, the intro video. This is where we want it to go. We want it to go right above all the other lessons. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to click on this video button right here. And I'm going to say add new video. 
and I'm going to say VMG, which stands for Video Marketing Goldmine, and I'm going to say welcome. And actually, I'm not going to do it on YouTube, though. I'm going to do it on Amazon S3, so let's try it again. Uh, welcome video, and I'll say VMG, okay? And then I can put my tags here if I want, because I can search for that later. And then my group is going to be video lessons. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the MP4 link from S3. So if I come back over here to my S3, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on this. I'm going to say generate web URL. And it's going to put this window up that looks just like this. This is a URL I need right here. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And come back over here. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that. And then I'm going to go ahead and say submit. Now that we've done that, if we come over here and if we click this eyeball, you'll see that we have our welcome video. Hi there, my name is Chad. I'm on the and notice it had that thumbnail there. Okay. Now what we need to do is if we look at that PLR package, remember there was four videos. There's four lessons inside of his package. So if we look, we got one, two, three, four, okay? So we need to go and create four lessons. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And you guys know we can do this from a spreadsheet too. And we could do it inside the wizard. But if there's only four, I'll probably do it like this. And so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to say lesson number one, intro. To video, whoops, intro to video marketing. Wow, Chad. Okay. Intro. Okay. I'm going to say in this lesson, you're going to learn the reasons why you want to be successful with your own video marketing strategy. All right, now I can choose a different image if I want to, and you guys know my thoughts on this. Don't do it, keep it easy. Let's click the save button. Okay, now if we come over here, let's come into this video. And we've got our VMG welcome video, but now I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna say add new video. And we're gonna say VMG lesson, oh, I did YouTube again, damn it. Let's try Amazon S3, VMG lesson one. All right, lesson one video lessons. Okay, let's come back over here to S3. And we got lesson number one. Permissions are set. Right click, generate web URL. There it is. Copy to clipboard. Come back over here. Boom. Paste it. Submit. Okay. Now, if we come over here and click this button, Check this out, guys. I, I gotta, I, <laughs> I know it's not rocket science for you, but it still blows me away to this day how easy all this is. Like what we've created and how fast you can go about doing this. Uh, Marlon says, I use Cloudberry. It works great also. If you are not familiar with Everlesson, or if you are familiar with Everlesson, are you guys starting to understand how we're able to use this PLR to brand it to ourselves. Are, are, are you guys starting to see this? So look, let's come over here and let's fix the rest of it. So I'm going to close the preview here. And this one's going to be lesson number two. Right? What do we got? Traffic to our PLR or traffic to our video. Right? So I'll click save. And then this one will be lesson number three. And what do we got? Lesson number three, uh, top video rankings. I'm just guessing. I don't even know what he's covered in there, right? I'll click save. And then lesson number four, uh, we'll just say paying for traffic. Okay. And then I would put descriptions here and everything else. All right. But now we also have, um, check this out. Let's come over here and let's do this. This one right here, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. We're going to change this up a little bit. I don't like where it's at, but don't worry about it. We got all kinds of cool surprises coming with this. I'm going to click on this thing that says add giveaway page. And this is something that not a lot of people have experience with. 
Now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to say free report for massive rankings. Okay. In this report, you're going to learn how to get massive rankings with your videos. All right. And I go ahead and click save. Now, there's a couple things I can do here, guys. And it's been a while since I've done this, but I'm going to go ahead and click this here. And we can do the same thing, right? Free report to massive rankings. I should have just copied it, right? In this report, you're going to learn how to get massive rankings with your videos. All right. And then let me just see if I can find one of my old images that I had. I, I used this the other day. Everybody asked me, they're like, how did you, how did you do that? So there it is. There's my guide. And then uh, download report. And then we're going to go ahead and put a link here. And we would probably put that link, and that's exactly what I did. If I go up one, let me see if I can get in there. Um, simple video creation. I'm trying to remember where I put it. Is this the VIP? Yeah, I put my reports. Let me just see if I can find it. Everlesson, Training Vault, Everlesson. There, no. Uh, focus Group, Giveaway, Marketing, VIP somewhere here VIP members I put those guides on this here let me just see if I can find it really quick guys local marketing marketing done right I got a horrible memory but somewhere I put the guides here um, anyways you would just go and you would just load it into your s3 just like this and you do the same thing set your permissions and then you would go and, uh, you know, you would grab the URL. Okay? So you could put it in the same folder even. That's fine. And so that would go right here. All right? And then you click Save. And then what you have, if I just kind of show you this real quick, is you have a page where they could go and download that free report. How many people are starting to get this? Now, look, in addition to the free report, guys, we can also come over here and we can click on resources and we can say free report, free ranking report. Same thing, right? In this guide, you're going to learn how to rank your videos. And then we would put the same Amazon S3 link here. Okay, and now it's going to appear inside the side menus. So let's look over here and let's see what we got. We click this view button. And now you have the report over here in the side menus. And I put it in that one, guys. I, I only put it in that one, but if I want, I can just come over here and I could do it again. I could say use existing resource. I could do it that fast, but there's also a place inside your settings where I'll just show you really quick. If you come over here to resources, um, right here, what we can do is we can actually map that one resource all at once. So here's that free ranking report. I can click this and I could say, you know what? I want it on all the lessons, just like that. And now we just put that report on all of our lessons. Are you guys learning anything new tonight? on this call. Are, are you starting to feel good about this PLR now? Okay, so now if we come over here, let's just look at this one. Let's make sure our PLR is there, or I'm, I'm sorry, our report. There's our report, perfect. Now let's make sure that they see that report on the first lesson. So what we can do is we can go into the long description and I can come over here and say, add resources. And I can say, let's use that existing resource. And I can say, insert. And there it is. And I can click Save Changes. And now if we come over here and click this View button, you'll see that we have the resource underneath the video. And it's over here as well. We're getting to the gamification, buddy. We're getting there. I just want you guys to see how fast you can go about taking this PLR 
and creating these courses. Okay? So next, let's go into the gamification. So the question, look, I'm going to write a guide for you that's going to help you. I'm going to try to do it tonight if I'm not too tired. So far, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm going to write a guide that's going to help you. It's going to tell you how to set up your gamification, what you want to do. Just keep it simple. If we look at each one of these videos, we want to come up with a simple little goal. The goal, A, needs to help them succeed. B, needs to encourage the engagement, especially with the other members, because you can kind of use it as like, neener, neener, neener. <laughs> and C, guys, on top of that, what else does it do? Helps them succeed, helps with the engagement. It's going to help you with the social proof, which means you're going to make more sales. We put them in the yellow. We want the yellow circles, right? So we got to ask this question. We got to give them a simple little goal, or we got to prove that they watch the lesson. So if this here is intro to video marketing, guys, this goal, let me find my notepad real quick. Um, yeah, let me just do this. Word. So I can open this up. So this goal here, we got lesson number one, video marketing. All right, lesson number one. The first goal I recommend is load your profile picture. Now, I'm going to find a way where when they do that, it gets automatically credited. We're, we're figuring that out right now. But the reason why you want to do this is so that when people are playing your gamification, everybody sees the profile pics. That's going to make all the difference in the world. I forgot. Let me blow this up for you. Okay? Lesson number two is all about traffic to the video, right? And then lesson number three is the top video rankings. And lesson number four is about paying for traffic. All right. So if we look at these, we already got the first goal taken care of. Lesson number two, traffic to our videos, we could simply ask a question. We could say something like, how, how drastic of an increase or how, what would your business look like if you, let's see, what would your business look like if you cracked the code to traffic? If you had an unlimited, uh, you know, a unlimited supply of traffic and all these eyeballs looking at your videos, like what would your business look like then? Now, the reason why I positioned it like that, guys, is because we're going to pull the comment. We're going to pull their answer into the comments. So when you get a comment like, oh, my God, my whole business would change. Like, yes, if I could get 1,000 viewers a day or whatever, I'd be making, uh, you know, six figures a year. And I would have this, uh, you know, my, my wife would love me again. And we could go on all these cruises and vacations. And, oh, Chad, you'd have no idea how much my life would change. And you guys see those comments all the time. Now, the reason why those comments are coming in is because I am positioning my gamification that way. Is it starting to make sense? So you do not want to say something like, go sign up for an account at admedia.com and tell me down below when you're done. Because what's the comment going to say, guys? The comment's going to say, I'm done. <laughs> and, and new people that are going through your course and they see everybody saying, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. They don't know if these people are saying go pound sand or if they're, they don't understand because it's in the comments. So if you choose to pull it in the comments, what I recommend is I recommend that you get deep and you get engaged with them and you get them excited so that that's what's being pulled into your comments. Is this making sense to you guys? So top video ranking. All right, top video ranking. We can ask a simple question like, do you have any experience ranking videos? What keywords have you ranked for in the past? Um, what's your favorite ranking method? Tell me all about it. Tell me the reason why. Like when you go through my goals, I don't just give you one goal and 
send you on your way. I, I ask you, I'm t- like, tell me how pumped you are. Tell me how excited you are. Tell me what your plan is. Tell me what's going to happen. Tell me how much money you want to make. Because I know everybody's reading those comments. Is this getting easier? Paying for traffic. Paying for traffic. We could simply ask a question like, how much do you plan on spending on traffic? Right? Or we can ask like an ROI question. Right? How much, how much money do you need to spend to hit so much to make so much money every month? Like, it's not hard. It is not hard. So, number one, let's make sure they watch the actual lesson. Number two, let's make sure we're sending them off on the right direction. Number three, let's make sure that we're pulling in comments and goals that are going to get people excited and create that synergy inside of our membership. All right. So, we got four goals. And by the way, if we had, you know, eight lessons, even with four lessons, this one right here, guys, your goal could be rate my course. You could actually shoot a video. And you know what? I'm going to do that for you guys. I'm going to shoot videos that teach people how to find the resources, teach people how to use the goals, and teach people how to rate your course. I'm going to shoot those videos for you. They're going to be a nice, like, commercial video. And you guys will be able to add them to all your courses and memberships. Okay? I'm getting that done right now. I saw that from Steve Rosenbaum. He gave me that idea. So this lesson right here, your goal could be, hey, would you do me a favor? If you've liked what you've seen so far, would you click that link up above and rate my course for me? Ah, because remember, we're going to pull these ratings into your sales page. You guys understand this? So what are we going to do? We're going to come over here to this area called gamification. And the first thing is, I'm going to go and I'm going to half-ass this. I'm going to create a gold badge. I got four lessons, five points each. That's 20 points, plus they get some bonus points or whatever. So I'm going to say in 20 points, they're going to earn the gold badge. It's going to be a points badge. I could go ahead and assign a reward. Uh, We're going to have it to where uh, when you select reward, you can also pull in one of your other courses. Okay? But for right now, I'm going to click Save. And now when I click on goals, uh, let's not do that just yet. Let's click on automation. And I'm going to say set automated badge. I'm going to say, okay, when they reach 20 points, let's give them the gold badge. Matter of fact, let's make it 15 points. Okay. They're going to get the gold badge. I'm going to click save. All right. Now, when they finish watching a video, they're going to get two points. When they download resources, two points. When they comment, that's a really good thing. Let's give them three points. And when they like something, let's give them two points. Okay, there's our extra points, okay? Now, is everybody good so far? It's time to create our goals. So let's click on goals and lesson ID. Now, each one of your lessons, if I can open this up again, let me just see if I can, has a goal or it has an ID, I'm sorry. So if I come over here and if I hover over this, see the ID? 367874. 367875. You can use that if you want to, but you don't have to. With a course this small, you got four lessons. So you come over here, you can say lesson one. And so lesson number one is going to be load your profile image. Okay. And then what I've done inside a course immersion, let me just see if I can get back in there. I think I closed it, didn't I? Hold on a minute. I want, I want to show you this. So I'm going to go back into course immersion. I'm going to show you the first lesson, right? I got a video inside the goal block itself. So let me come in here. I'm going to show you guys the first goal block. Here it is right here. And if I go into week number one, and I don't know if I can see it or not. Let me try. I know I completed it, but let me see if I can still get in there. And if I can't, I'm going to go in the back end. Yeah, it's been completed. So let me just go in the back end really quick. I want to show you this so you guys get it, right? So we'll come over here to the gamification for course immersion. And by the way, just to kind of show you that this actually does work, if I click on pending goals, there's 727 approved goals for a course that has like 40 people in it. It works, guys. It absolutely works. But if I come over here to goals, this one here that says... 
add your profile picture. Let me see if I can grab that video. Uh, let's see, profile. Hold on a minute, let me find it. Simple Facebook ads. I'm always doing stuff in here. Course immersion. I think I've got a video showing you how to load your profile picture. Okay, so I actually did create a video showing you how to do that. Um, oh, you know what? I saved it as goal. Let me see if that's it. Goal, what is your overall goal? Um, the power of gamification. Uh, I think it's this one. Let me see. Nope, it's not that one. Okay, that's all right. You get the idea. Um, but I went and loaded this video showing you how to add your profile pic. Okay, so you can do the same thing. I'll, I'll create that video for you. So load our profile picture. All right. Uh, follow the video in this block and load your profile picture. Once you're done with that, type in the field, field below, I'm ready to rock it. All right. Just like that. And then you'll go and you'll choose that one video. Like I said, I'll give it to you. So we'll say, we'll pretend like it's that video. And then since we told them to type something in the field, we're going to go ahead and say, create user input field. And then we're going to bring their answer into our comments. And then we're going to issue points. We're going to issue five points. And we're going to click on save. Now, guys, we just went and created our first goal. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn on our goal settings. So I'm going to come over here to quick settings. And I'm going to turn on this one that says earn points. And I'm going to click save. And now, let's see what we got. We come back over here to the back end. Um, let me get in the right one. Sorry. We created that new membership, remember? So it's down here. Eric's membership. Let's go inside of there. Here's our first course. And let's see if we did it right. If I click the view button. Um, we don't have it on just yet, but let me find out why. So with gamification. And let me make sure we got this badge. We got our goal. Oh, you know why? I'll bet. I'll bet. Goals, nope, we got that there. Automation, we got that there. Let me think why. I'm gonna create a default user real quick and you guys know how to do this. I'm gonna go to page settings and we'll go ahead and create this default user. And you should do this for every single one of your memberships. I always keep it the same. I got this crazy password, create member. And now let's go ahead and click this eyeball. There's our login. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sign in, and let's see what we got. Okay, so we don't have a dashboard on yet. That's okay. Let's go ahead and click this. All right, there is this. So we have our welcome video. We got our lessons down below, but we still don't have our gamification on. So let me just think about this just for a minute. Gamification, let me make sure I saved it over here. Quick settings, okay, that's on. Earn points. Okay, that's good. And hold on a minute. It takes a minute for me sometimes. Gamification. So we got our badge. We got our goals. Let me make sure. We got our point goals. And video marketing gold mine, right? Automations 15, 15. Yeah, it should be on. But I'm sure it's something I'm... Oh, wait. I'm not in the damn course yet. Jeez, Chad. It's been a long day, guys. Sorry. There it is right there. <laughs> Jeez. I'm going to cut that out so nobody knows what an idiot I am. There's your gamification. So if I click in there, you see that we have our first points badge. I can earn the gold badge. I need 15 more points. Here's a badge you can earn right now. Load our profile image, right? So if I want to come over here and earn these points, I can go ahead and click this. And I can follow this video here. I can follow the directions and I can earn these points. 
And then you can go and you can tie it into the drip feed if you want to. All right, is everybody clear on that? So you're gonna do that four separate times. You're gonna do that for each one of these lessons. Okay, you're gonna create that gamification. Now, let's pull the gamification into the course. So how do we do that? Well, let's come back over here and let's go into our long description. And I'm gonna get rid of this for now. We can pull it back in, but I'm gonna say insert block. And I'm gonna say goal block. I'm gonna choose type A. I'm gonna say create new goal block. And here's my goal. Load our profile image. That's what it looks like. I'll go ahead and leave it open for you. I can change color, whatever, update block. And now that we've done that, let me put my resource back in. I just took it out so you guys would understand that. Now we got the resource, save changes. And now if I come over here to lesson number one, you see that we have the main video and now we have the goal underneath the video and then we even have the resource there as well. And so you can have this goal closed. That's what I recommend you do. We can also turn off this stuff here if we want to. So if I come back over here, it's very, very easy to do. I'm just gonna come over here and click this here. And then if I come back over here and refresh the front end, you will see we have a much cleaner look. Make sense? Are you guys getting a lot of value out of this? Yes or no? I wanna make sure. So we've gone and we've created a whole entire course from our rebranded PLR, okay? Now, the next thing is, Remember, in that intro video, we promised them that we had a free strategy session for them, that we were going to take them to the next level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into another platform that we own called Survey, which is about to become the lead conversion system. And so you can see there's my activity for the day, which we're kind of changing things. I've now moved everything over to another account, but you can see that we use this system for a lot of stuff, <laughs> a lot of stuff, guys. And what we want to do is you're going to decide what is it that you want to put them in. So if I come back over here, what we're going to do is we're going to display these little widgets over here. Now, we can either make them apply we can make them take a survey and then we can set up qualifications. And if they're qualified, we can put them in an appointment. Okay, so remember this is a video marketing course. So what we can do is we got these very simple modules over here. This one here is for surveys and applications. This one's here is for appointments and then we can go and we can link these. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this bad boy here and I'm gonna say create new survey. Now this is very, very easy, right? So this is gonna be for video, marketing, gold mine. And let's just say that we have a private coaching program. I'm gonna click on create survey. Now watch guys, this is so very easy, right? Multiple choice question. Do you have experience with video marketing? Okay, I'm gonna say, Yes, I do. No, I don't. Boom. All right. Let's do another one, right? Um, how much money do you spend on your ads? Assuming they do, right? And then we could say uh, none. And then we could say uh, under 500. And then we could say like 500 to 2,000. And then we could say like over 5,000. I know it's not making sense to you, but it's okay. You get the idea, right? I'm just trying to do this really fast. Save changes. Okay. Now we're going to do a qualifying question. And I'm going to say something like this. Are you ready to, okay. Are you ready to invest to get to the next level? Obviously that's not the one that I would ask, but I'm going to say, yes, I'm ready. No, not just yet. All right, now based on this, 
I want to work with the people that say, yes, I'm ready. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's enable qualifying criteria. And I'm going to say, set criteria. And if they say no, I'm going to disqualify them. Save changes. Now, disqualify is not necessarily a bad thing. Okay. And so now that I've done that, guys, I'm going to click next step. And what I might do is, before I do that, let me go back to that previous step. I might bring in their contact information really quick. So let me just do that. I want their name, email, and their phone number. Okay, good enough. Save changes. Okay. Um, tell me who you are. And then I'll, I'll take off this mandatory stuff. Most people actually do give us this information. Uh, you do want this information because we have a pipeline on the back end of this system. And if you don't have the information, we can't put them in the pipeline. So I'm going to click Save Changes. And now you see that we have a pretty nice application. Obviously, I would have more questions, but you get the idea. So next step. Now what's happening is Survey is making three different types of applications. It's giving you an application, a site survey, and a web survey. So you decide which one you want to use, or at some point, you might use them all. So I can go ahead and rearrange the order. So like if I want to have this up here for the application survey, I can. And then if I come over here to site survey, it's a little bit of a different layout, but I want to have that up here at the top. And then for web survey, I want to have it at the bottom. Okay, cool. So now we're over here on step number three. Next step. This is where we can go and add customization. So this is what my application survey looks like. It's very, very official. And we've got it now where you're going to be able to bring in Unsplash for the backgrounds. You're going to be able to bring in images. And you're going to be able to like change out these colors. But what we can do is we can come over here and we can say video marketing mastermind. Okay? Fill out the application to make sure you are a good, are a good fit for the mastermind. All right. Save changes. There we go. And it'll bring it in. And then we could go and we could put a logo there or whatever it is we want to do. All right, this looks pretty good, right? But if I come over here and click on site survey, this is going to look totally different. And so if we come over here to the design editor, you're going to see this is a completely different kind of survey. It's, it's not like an application. And so what I can do is I can come over here to my predefined colors, and I could just go ahead and start choosing colors that way. Or I could come over here and I could pull in an image. Very, very easy. Okay? So I'll go ahead and click save. That's good enough. So the site survey goes up and down. And then we actually have one called the web survey. And if I come over here and if I click this, you'll see that the web survey goes left to right. But it's going to work the same exact way. You come over here, you choose your colors, whatever. You could do custom colors if you have exact colors, whatever you want to do. Okay. So now you're going to go and set all that up. You decide which one you want to use, and you can use all of them. Is everybody good so far? So let's come over here. And let's do next step. And now we're automated actions. This is like Infusionsoft and stuff. Don't worry about it. Next step. And now we have our three links. So we have our application survey. Let me go ahead and open this up. That's what that looks like. We have our site survey. Let me open this one up. That's what that one looks like. I think this looks so damn good. And then we have our web survey. And let's go ahead and open this one up. So depending if you're on Facebook, if you're shooting stuff in email, you know, whatever you're doing, you might have a different type. It creates all three types for you at once. Okay. Pretty freaking cool, right? I did that because I'm lazy. Okay. Now, what we want to do is if somebody fills out this survey correctly. So do I have experience? Yes. How much money do you spend? Boom. Are you ready to invest? This is the qualifying question right here. If they say yes, I want to get on a call with them. If they say no, uh, I want to send them to a window that says, hey, thank you so much. We'll review your, your answers. Okay. So here's what we're going to do, guys. Now we're going to come over here to this guy. I'm going to click on this button. And I'm going to go, I'm going to create a new appointment. So very easy. Now, I can copy my previous appointments if I want, 
but I'm just going to say mastermind applicant. Okay. Uh, this is a appointment with Chad to see if you are a good fit for the mastermind. All right. Now I can go and assign it to one of my sales team members if I want to, but I'm not going to in this case. I'm going to meet on Zoom. So I'm going to say we are going to meet on the Zoom platform. All right. I can charge for the appointment. I'm not worried about it. I'm going to click save. Now the appointment length, I'm going to do about 20 minutes. If you ever get on a call with me, it's about 20 minutes. One attendee per slot. Start date, I don't really care. End date, I don't really care about that either. Good enough. And then what I'm going to do is I can set specific times for this appointment, guys. But I don't want to do that. Instead, I want to use my availability times that I have inside my settings that I use for all of my appointments. So I'm going to click Save. I don't need a pre-appointment buffer, no post, no advance, no limit bookings. Uh, I do want to make myself look busy. So I want no more than three slots per day, even though there's like seven available. I just want to show like four random slots and I'm going to allow them to reschedule. I'm going to click save. And what I want is their name and email, maybe their phone number, and I can add custom fields. Then for my reminders, I'm going to use the reminders that are set inside of my profile. So we have reminder settings and we have default availability inside the profile. I'm going to click save. Uh, don't need to worry about that. And I don't want to have a logo on, but I want my profile picture on. If I want to show other appointments, especially ones that I'm charging for, I can feature those. If I want to have my Facebook, Twitter, and my LinkedIn, which is outside of my pro inside my profile, I can do that. If I want to have a video, I can turn a video on. If I want to redirect them somewhere after they submit the appointment, I can do that. And then what I can do is I can completely go and customize the way that my appointment looks. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to click Save. And now what we did was we just went and created this appointment. Now, we just created a survey and an appointment. And we did it in about five minutes flat. Now, how many people feel like they can do this? Yes or no? Type in the chat here, guys. Let me know if you can do this. Now, let me show you. And all this can be customized. Everything. You can change the colors. You can change everything. Now, watch this. Here's where we shine. If I come back into survey, I'm going to come back into the application or the survey that we just created, which it's called Video Marketing Goldmine. And now that I've got an appointment, I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to go back over here to this step here. And I'm going to do this advanced actions. And I'm going to say, okay, if they are qualified, meaning they said, yes, I'm ready to, uh, you know, invest in your mastermind. Then what I want to do is I want to send them to an appointment. And I actually want to talk to them. And so they're going to see this um, appointment right here. Okay. But if they're disqualified, that looks good enough for me. Or I could send them to a different appointment. Or I could send them to a custom URL. Completely up to me what I want to do. So I'm going to click Save Changes. All right. So what did we just do? Well, we just created an application. And if they answer correctly, they're going to make an appointment with us. And now we can get on the call and see if they're a good fit. But what the other thing we can do is we could create another appointment, and I'm just going to rename the one that we have here. And I'm going to say strategy session. And I'm going to click save. All right. Now, I need you to understand this. Because we linked that application to that appointment, it's called a link campaign. And so if I click on my link campaign, you will see that survey knows that you link that together. And the reason why is because now we're able to tell you all your stats from the time that they opened up the appointment all the way down to did they actually show for the appointment. You have all these advanced stats because we know that you link both of these modules together. 
Okay, I've never seen another system do this, guys. But on the survey side or on the appointment side, you're not only able to embed those two modules, but we also have something called 10x widgets. And so if I come over here and if I come to my last step where it says publish and share, there's going to be options down here at the bottom. And this is where you're going to go and you're going to create widgets. And what's going to happen is they're going to click those widgets. And in this case, they're going to fill out your application. And if they're qualified, they're going to be put into an appointment right there inside of your course. Is everybody with me so far? <laughs> so watch this. Let me, let me show you. Let's find our course again. You have to bear with me while I find it. Okay, it's this one right here. And so I'm going to grab this color. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab something that's going to make this pop. Okay, so I'm going to grab this color here. And I'm going to come back over here. And this is going to be the tab at the bottom. And it's going to say apply for the mastermind. Apply or uh, let's see. We'll say mastermind application. Okay. And I want it in the bottom right, whatever. I can set exact coordinates, right? I haven't got all crazy with that. And then I think an orange color is going to really pop for the widgets. So maybe something like that. Okay, and I want that in the top right. Or again, you can get exact with coordinates. And I, I actually want them to call me if I got a $15,000 mastermind. Hell yes, you can call me, right? And I'm going to go ahead and put my email here. Right, and I can have it to where it only opens on exit intent, page load, whatever. But what happens is we're going to now give you a script. And so you can copy this to your clipboard. And we're going to come back in here to Everlesson, and we can deploy it on the whole entire membership by going back to the membership. So let me show you. If I come back over here to my dashboard and we go back to that membership, what I can do is there's a place right here for scripts and codes, and I can go ahead and put it right here. And those widgets are going to be on all of my courses. But what we're going to do is we're going to deploy it on the one course we have. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to click into here. And I'm going to click Save. It's going to say, let's make sure you're not like screwing something up. There we go. Good enough. And now if we come back inside of here, let me get back in our course. If I refresh this, Now you see we have these widgets over here. And if I click this, do you have experience with video marketing? Yes, I do. How much money do you spend on your ads? Are you ready to invest? Yes, I'm ready. Tell me who you are. Chad, chad at chadnicely.com, 307, da, 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 da. Submit. And because I am qualified, I'm now able to make an appointment. And remember, you can even have a video here that says, hey, congratulations, you're qualified. I can't wait to get on the phone with you. Are you guys understanding this? So if we go back to your goals, guys, with your goals, you could have the last goal be, click that button down below and sign up for your free strategy session or click that button down below and fill out the application. Now, this doesn't have to be an application because inside the survey system, guys, you could actually go to the appointment, which is what I've done with Course Immersion, and you could actually create widgets just for the appointment alone. You have so many options available at your fingertips. The last thing I want to show you, and I'm sorry this has gone over, it's just there's so much to, so much to show you. The last thing I want to show you is the monetization. Is everybody clear on where the high ticket comes in? Look, if you've done everything that I've told you, 
If you got the engagement, if you got the goals, if you got the comments coming in, you go and you turn on these little widgets here, guys, and you're off to the races. You are off to the races. They will click these things. They will get on a call with you. And survey was built, and we're still building this out right now. Let me see if I can find it. One of these ones here. Survey was built so that you can bring all of your leads inside a sales pipeline. That's the end result. All of that is included in the one system. So everybody's starting to see how Everlesson, Survey, and Easy Links all work together. And guys, this is exactly what I've been doing with you. You all keep saying, Chad, can you do a detailed training showing us exactly what you're doing? I'm giving you the time right now so that everybody understands what we are doing. Okay, and by the way, you come over here, uh, it's very, very advanced. Like our pipelines are all different colors and like all kinds of cool stuff you can do. <laughs> you guys are gonna love it. I'm still developing it out right now, but just to kind of give you a sneak peek, how this works is you come over here and you say, okay, here's what I wanna do. Anybody that fills out this appointment, I want to put them in this pipeline and I want to link them to this product. And then it automatically goes in the pipeline. But look here, I can also do it with my surveys and applications. Anybody that fills out this survey, I want to put them in this pipeline and I want to link them to this product. And next, we're going to have it to where you can have your sales guys here as well. And then they will handle the pipeline for you, just like they're handling the appointments, right? Whew. Okay, so now watch this, guys. We're going to come back over here to our settings. We did our gamification. We've done our high ticket. Now let's come over here to our monetization, which is this guy right here. I'm going to click on this guy, and I'm going to create a global campaign. Now we'll just go ahead and call it Video Marketing Goldmine. And we'll say Create. Now, how this works is you're going to deploy all of these monetization campaigns at once. And that way you can turn stuff off when you don't need to use it. So we have a news ticker. Make sure you apply for my mastermind. Or so many spots are available, right? I'm getting tired, guys. And then we would go and we would put our, uh, our survey application link here, right? I mean, I think you guys understand. Like, I'm not going to go grab it, but I think you get it, okay? And then we can go ahead and choose our text color or whatever. Black's good. And then I just want it on the video marketing goldmine. Or maybe I want it on all courses. Or maybe I just want it on the one lesson, right? Your targeting is going to be the same for all of your monetization campaigns. So I'm going to say I want it on all video marketing goldmine. I'm going to save that. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and put a banner there. So I'm going to click on banner. And I'm going to say add image. This is my image library. And let's say I want to get people in my Facebook group. So I think I've got a banner for my Facebook group. Here it is right here. I'm going to say insert. Then I'm going to send them to my easy link. EV group. See, I got that memorized. I'm going to say join the group. Okay, or we don't have to have that, I don't think. I can't remember. That's kind of a new thing. We did that for the mock-ups. And then once again, I'm going to put it on. Video marketing gold mine. I'm going to click save. And now let's go ahead and put a top bar inside of our site. Remember, because we're giving this away, right? So this is what the top bar looks like, right? So I'm going to say spots open for the mastermind. Do you think you have what it takes? Apply today. I'll come over here. We can choose our color, whatever, right? And text color, that's fine. Button color. I, pro I would probably pull in the same colors, guys, but I'm getting tired. I'm going to say video marketing. There we go. Save. Oh, but you know what? Let's expire this. So I'm going to click on enable timer. And I'm going to say countdown type. I'm going to leave it blank. I'm going to make it expire in 10 days. And time zone. I hate this. I will clean this up for you guys. But I'm going to say America, uh, whatever. I have, I, have, I have no idea why they have all these in here. We cleaned it up inside of EverFunnels, but they still have all these crazy times. Anyways, we'll fix that. And I'll say uh, apply now. 
Okay, there we go. And we can put it in 24 hour format, whatever, that's good enough. So it's gonna expire, uh, let's see, that's four o'clock. It's gonna expire at 2300 hours. Okay, there we go, save. And now let's see if we did everything right. So this is what it looked like before. And I think this is gonna be really ugly, <laughs> but watch this, reload. And now we've got a countdown timer. We've got the apply buttons. We've got banners here. Uh, the only thing I don't see is a news ticker. I don't know if I saved it or what the deal is, but that's okay. You guys get the idea. Is there anything that you guys cannot do with this? Is there anything you can't do? So look, here's what's going to happen. You're going to you're gonna repeat this step over and over and over. Matter of fact, you can just clone this product and have everything here waiting for you, and then you just change out the videos, right? This is what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna rinse and repeat that process over and over and over. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna go ahead and clone this bad boy. And now we're gonna have SEO gold mine, right? So I'm gonna come over here and we got SEO gold mine, okay? And obviously we're gonna go and we're gonna change out um, the videos. All right, we're gonna change out the lessons, but we got SEO gold mine. And then we'll come over here, we'll create one more and we'll have like local marketing gold mine, whatever. Local marketing gold mine. We'll go ahead and save that. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to settings, quick settings, and we're going to turn on this dashboard and we'll save it. And now we'll come back over here. We'll refresh it. And when we come over here to the home now, it should take us to our dashboard. And now you guys are ready to rock. Guys, how did I do? I think that's where I'm gonna conclude today. Um, we did a lot. We did the branding. We set up the courses. Uh, we learned how to do the high ticket. We did the gamification. We did the monetization. And that's it. I just keep doing the same thing over and over and over. And you guys have seen me do this so many times, right? And remember, this here can all be done from a spreadsheet. Yeah, Marlon's saying, you must be exhausted. Yeah, but I think we have an amazing, amazing course. Don't you, Marlon? Um, so is there any questions before we conclude? Hillary's saying, I'm sure glad this is recorded because I'll need to review it a lot. There was so much stuff you covered. There is, but here's what's nice about this, guys. And, and uh, we're going to keep building this out. That's my promise to you. Uh, I, I've, I've got so many ideas for these platforms, but learn it. Learn it well because we're doing the job of six or seven platforms here, guys. We, we really are. Um, and and I, I didn't even get into the page builder today. I will go into the page builder tomorrow with you. And now that we have gone and created this, tomorrow the big, the big emphasis is going to be the free product and the paid product sequence. We're going to set it up to where you guys have emails going out automatically, giving your members a new course however you see fit, every three days, every seven days, whatever the case may be. Now, the reason why this is great is because, number one, we have done-for-you courses. You guys can purchase those done-for-you courses every single month, and you can sell those. And now you guys know you can go out there, and you can get PLR training from PLR Whole Store or from the WSOs or whatever the case may be. And now you guys understand exactly what you want to do with the training to build that community that's going to allow you to make sales, okay? But when you have the free product sequence working for you, your members are going to love you, and they're going to be more inclined to buy from you. 
Those are the things that we're going to cover tomorrow. And we're also going to go and create the member sign-up pages and things like that. And remember, I will be there to answer all the questions that you guys have. Okay? Is that fair? Let me look at your comments one more time. I'm going to take a screenshot of the comments coming in from um, the Zoom platform. Let me just kind of show you guys really quick. And yes, I am exhausted, but we're killing a lot of birds here, right? We're, 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 we're doing good. Um, okay. So uh, let's see. Derek, awesome stuff. Thank you, Chad. I just need to practice actually doing this. So glad to have your guide to watch again as I do it myself. Is the pipeline available? Not yet. Uh, Chad, I have a question. I already have unrelated courses in my Everlesson account. Will my subscribers see them? No. The only way they're going to see them is if they have access to them, so they have permissions, or you set them up for public access. If you didn't do those things, they won't see them. But, Hillary, let me, let me give you guys a, a quick lesson really quick, okay? If I come in here, and if I come over here to my global settings, and if I come to my, my members, and I'll go ahead and choose my membership, so I'll choose my course, and you're going to have a whole entire list of members, right? So one of these ones, here it is right here. So you have a whole entire list of your members. And what you can do is if you want to see what they see, you can come over here and you can click on information. And you have their username. And you have their password. And you can always see what it is your members see. So not only do you have your default settings, not only can you go set up your own member, but you can also see exactly what your members are seeing and everything else. And guys, I only covered about a tenth of what this platform will do, but I gave you the bare basics that you need to be massively successful with our platforms, okay? And tomorrow, my promise is that we're going to go into the sequences. And I really need you guys to get some sleep and put your thinking caps on because it's an intense strategy. We're also going to make sure that your site's positioned, positioned to make more sales. And then we're going to have a live Q&A session. And so anything that I did not cover, guys, we're going to get it on these recordings. Because I really think that this training has the key to help you guys be so successful with PLR courses. Okay? All right, guys. That's where I'm going to conclude. I will have the replay up here in a few hours. Thank you so much for tuning in. We didn't lose very many people. I appreciate that. And I will see you guys same time, same bat channel tomorrow. Have a great night.